the heavens did not approve of Liu Bei's actions, and he passed away, only to have Liu Chan rise to take his place. Any hopes I had for a new era are gone, for this one lacks the strength necessary for such a task. On the other hand, Cao Cao's heir, Cao Pi, was doing a fine job along with the assistance of his strategist, Sima Yi. The new land which they create will no doubt be similar to the one Cao Cao hoped to make. I cannot stand by and let this be. I shall attack them at the Wu Zhang Plain. With Liu Bei dead, this land will never be able to attain peace. Instead, we have Sima Yi, a man who blossomed under Cao Cao. I will have to investigate his true intentions. This battle is fated to be my last. Therefore, I must use it to fulfill my master's wish. They will not get past us! We have come a long way. We must protect our supply line. My lady, preparations are complete, as ordered. We should have no trouble escaping danger with these wood oxen on our side. We will win this battle, and a new era of peace will be born. have defeated an officer. Officer. It's 
soldier already. I have defeated an officer. Here we go. Master Sima Yi, we have brought what you ordered. This will change the tide of the battle. Catapults are ready, sir. Fire. Fire at will. Leave not a single enemy soldier alive. an officer. Now is the time for proper strategy. You should know who you're dealing with. Your might is essential to my strategy. Here we go. Now, attack! So, my might was not enough. I have defeated an officer. I have defeated an officer. Our supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Ah! to make me angry? I 
have defeated an officer. Now is the time for proper strategy. So you must be looking for trouble. Heavens above, grant me just a few more hours. You must not value your life so highly. Nothing like the chaos of the land. I have defeated an officer! My final battle. I have defeated an officer. an officer. That's as far as you go. Eat this! Oh, great and mighty heavens, I, Zhuge Liang, pray to you with all my heart. Though I die, May Shu continue to thrive without me. Zhuge Liang is dead. All units move to counterattack! to live up to your brilliance. Attack once more for the glory of our Prime Minister! My ambitions left unfulfilled. I have defeated an officer. Fool! You have just chosen the path to your own death. Should have had a better eye on you. Defeated by an imbecile. 
also like you. Such foolish times to not make use of my talents. I have defeated an officer. Thanks to the Prime Minister's brilliant plan, we were able to defeat Wei. All of my men did an excellent job in controlling their grief and fighting against the enemy. The Prime Minister left behind a path toward unification of the land. Now, it is up to those of us left behind to create a new future where the people and the land will not be tempted toward the path to ruin. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Zhuo Qi from the land of Lujiang. He spent 30 years training in the Emei Mountains in Jialin. While there, he mastered mystical powers. He then made his way down the mountains in an attempt to bring an end to the chaos that plagued the land. Of all those at war, it was Cao Cao who stood above them all. Although he intended to restore the Han, his ambition later became to create his own imperial line after conquering the Central Plains. There were also those who sought to restore the Han, the most famous one being Liu Bei. Zhuo Qi felt Cao Cao's ambitions would not be best for the land and sided with Liu Bei. Although Zhuo Qi fought hard alongside Liu Bei in an effort to conquer the land, both Cao Cao and Liu Bei would pass away before a victor emerged. Cao Pi was appointed as the new ruler of Wei, while Liu Chan inherited leadership of Shu. Cao Pi proved to be even more clever than his father and was aided by the brilliant strategies of Sima Yi. On the other hand, Liu Chan was not nearly as capable, but was supported by Zhuge Liang. Zhuo Qi believed in Zhuge Liang and left Shu in his care. However, upon learning that Zhuge Liang was near death, Zhuo Qi let out a deep sigh, changed into a crane, and flew away. It is said that no one has ever seen Zhuo Qi since. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. The darkness has lifted, and yet the world still cannot find the light. However, there will be a day, one worthy of continuing Liu Bei's legacy will appear. 
It's only a matter of time, and I'll be ready when it comes. <laughs>